ask uh, Lu sorry, Lucia is our first evaluator. I, I think her children will not miss insurance because she said if her children get bullied and she will send her or send her children to uh, to learn Taekwondo. <laughs> <laughs> if if her child child get bullied by a uh, by a physical uh, no by uh, words mm -hmm. by words, then she will teach her children how to fight it back. Mm -hmm. So I think Lucia is a top mom. <laughs> Let's welcome Lucia. Well, tonight we heard another freestyle speech from David, which means his speech is not based on any manual, which makes him a considerable candidate for speech contests. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, David, I believe that you put a lot of efforts into this speech because we can see that you prepare a PowerPoint which is very clear but simple and also you put many elements in your speech not only the free solo, the exercise itself but also things about risk and also how you step out of the comfort zone in Toastmasters and the other thing is the clear structure of your speech so I can see that you did a very good preparation of the contents. And also today we can see that you have more body language and more vocal variety, which probably because I gave you the suggestions last time, so I can see the improvements a, a lot. But I have some suggestions for you. Since it's a freestyle speech, so I can say, any <laughs> suggestion that, yeah, yeah. Yes. I yes. <laughs> yeah. The first thing is about the weight of the topic. Since the topic is about free solo, so I suppose you can put more weight about this thing. But in the beginning of your speech, you start with risk. And in the end of the speech, you end with a quote. So. Where was the free solo? <laughs> so probably you can. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? So probably laughing. you can try to manage how you relate the whole thing with free solo. Right. The second thing is about the standing position, because you're using the PowerPoint. But I have a trick for you, since most of the times you don't need the pictures anymore, so you can put black pages so that you can stand in the middle of the room in the podium so that you won't look like you're standing aside of the podium which makes your speech like in presentation that's a little bit pity and then the last thing is that since you're going to be the VPE in the next term so probably you're looking for something called DCP. So probably you should. No, we are not. Really? No, really? DCP is not my. Okay, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you know, it's a very encouraging and informative speech, which is very interesting as well. But if you can work on the weight of the topic and uh, try to design your PowerPoint a little bit more and the manual things, forget about it. 